Hello, baby raccoon. <laughs> What's it doing? I don't know we should take them. No, they can't carry rabies. So, Rachel cut the raccoon with my shirt. We're going to check it out. So, I found this guy close to the side of the road. He's kind of stumbling around. So, I don't know if he's sick, but he's a baby. So, I'm going to... I heard raccoons can't see very well during the day. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm trying not to touch him either because I don't know if he has diseases. But, I'm going to put him back in the woods, preferably in a tree. So that he can stay out of the road and not get hurt. He's stumbling around though, so I'm, I'm hoping he's not sick. He doesn't look like he's been hit, but he was close to the road to be hit. So yeah, I'm kind of wondering if, because he can't see that well out in daylight, if he just couldn't move because of it. He got like, separated from his mother somehow. He's too big to be, I think, with a mother. He's just out. He's tiny though. But I want him to be in a tree. I can find a way in somewhere. There's a way in right around here. I saw it. So that he... <laughs> I feel like Steve Irwin. There's... I'm gonna leave Ramsey's shirt. Comfort. Uh, cause I don't know I'm trying to make sure he goes in. Go on. And not come back out. All right, there he goes. That was an adventure. Jeez. Trying to go to the park. Baby raccoon. Crawling, moving. He's like flopping around, kind of. Which, it looked like there was something, like he was disoriented, maybe? I don't know. I don't know anything about raccoons. I thought that they couldn't... I'm maybe thinking of possums. I don't know. He was sick, or he was lost, and he was just kind of laying there, so... It looked like he was playing when we first rolled up on him. Yeah. So, I got Ramsey to give me a shirt so we could pick him up and put him in the woods at least, so at least he has a chance and not get hit or picked up by some kids or something. Yeah. I am gonna seriously say I didn't touch him at all, but I'm still gonna sanitize. I've never picked up a raccoon before and he was making all kinds of noises. He was coming towards me, but not like aggressively at all. So he was trying to play with the shirt. He was either trying to play or he looked like he wanted to climb and I know they like trees, so. He's a wild creature, he's supposed to be in the wild. I wanted to keep him. Well, dogs are supposed to be wild too. <laughs> They've been domesticated. No, we don't need a raccoon. I just wanna say that first off, Anybody, do not do that. <laughs> don't touch or grab a wild animal. That was probably stupid because I don't know a disease or anything was wrong with it. I did not touch it. Do not do that unless you're fairly certain you can handle it and you know how to handle animals, I guess I should say. I just didn't want to get hit if it was okay. Um, Ram, we just left the shirt there. This is probably going to be it for the vlog, um, mainly because... Um, there was a death in my family last night. Um, my cousin passed away, coincidentally, in the same way my brother-in-law did. He had a motorcycle accident, so we're dealing with that right now. It's tragic. It's sad. Uh, I, I hate these things. Motorcycles are fun, but they are dangerous, and this was a guy who had ridden them his whole life, and it still happens. Not that you shouldn't. I mean, if you like them, ride them, but just be careful. Even the most experienced rider can wreck, and drivers be aware of motorcyclers because accidents can happen. Blink of an eye. It's tragic. So I'll tell. I'll talk. I'll see you guys tomorrow.